Hey guys, what's up? If you're planning your trip to Sri Lanka, you might have come across two different hikes called Little Adam's Peak and Adam's Peak. In this video, I'm going to tell you the differences between both of them and what you could expect. Adam's Peak, also known as Sri Pada, is the fifth highest mountain in Sri Lanka, but is the most sacred one. The closest train station is Hatton, and from Hatton you could either stay in a town called Maschielia, which is about a 20 minute drive from the bottom, or you could stay in Italia, which is the base of the hike. It's a popular attraction to climb to the top of the mountain to watch the sunrise. This means waking up at 2am. It can take anywhere from 2.5 hours to 4 hours, so it's no doubt a challenge. However, the challenge makes the experience even greater. That was intense, climb up to the top of Adam's Peak and we're almost down and I'm sweating so much, but it was worth it for the views. At the top, you'll experience breathtaking views as well as cultural ceremonies. For me, this was an amazing experience. However, I have heard from some people that they didn't enjoy it as much because it was too crowded. To avoid this outcome, check with a local prior and plan your trip around holidays. The space is limited up top, so it's best to leave room for the locals on their sacred holidays. Little Adam's Peak is a short hike away from Ella. It takes around 45 minutes and it's fairly easy. It has great views of surrounding mountains and tons of room up top to walk around. I recently made a video on the top 5 things to do in Ella, so I'll leave a link below so that you can check that out afterwards. The best time to head to Little Adam's Peak is around sunset. During the day it could get too hot and what else is better than enjoying mountain views with a beautiful sunset. I know when I was planning my trip to Sri Lanka, I was a little bit confused about why there are two different Adams Peaks and whether they were similar or whether one was better for me, and that's why I decided to make this video. To sum it all up, Adams Peak is a little bit secluded, it's strenuous, and it might not be for everyone, and I understand why, but it does have a great cultural feel and it also has amazing views. On the other hand, Little Adams Peak is located in a cute touristy hub. It's an easy hike, so it's great for the whole family. However, it does miss out on that cultural feel that you get from Adams Peak. And if you have the time, I would encourage you to do both. They're great experiences and they're completely different. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. Also, we're making a ton of content on Sri Lanka, so hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Be free.